Hey, sneaky links back again. Yeah, again. Yeah, I'm doing that for you. I'm on a roll now. I'm on a roll. Tonight, we've got another pub. But this one's called Rex Pub. Now, it's called Rex Pub because it's a bit of a Rex. Right, Rex Pub is based on uh, Puppy 525. But it's meant to be based with more of a look and feel of Arch Bang and Crunch Bang. We always say Crunch Bang more than anything else. Which is why we've got the, the uh, grey seam here. And we've got Conky over the side here. And very, very little stuff on the desktop. And you've got a nice little bar at the bottom. Remember, normally in Crunchbang and Archbang, that is not there. It's like a, when you put your your cursor over it, it will appear, and then when you take it off, it, it won't be there. But we can do that in puppies if we want to. But it's still an alpha or beta. It's not a total a distro as itself, as such, should we say. So I'm going to go through with you just a little bit. As you can see, my host is Rex Bang. It's using a lot of CPU usage at the moment. I don't know why that is, and it's using the, all the latest packages, so I don't know why. Uh, when you get the CPU temperature to come up, it doesn't come up very correctly. Okay, it says I'm using like uh, E centigrade. I'm not. I, I rechecked my stuff. I'm down at about 37, 38, so that's not right. But it's RAM uses, considering it's using a lot of desktop stuff, is only 47 megabytes at the gig I've given it. Now, there is swap space I've given it, but it's not actually showing in Conky. So that's something they've got to look at there. You've got your shortcut keys here. So win space, win H, win D, control, delete, and your Rex grid snap. So if you want to snap to certain windows and certain stuff, there it is. On the desktop itself, you just got your file manager, which of course is rocks, as you can see. You got your console, which is your demonal. You got your browser. No, right. now here we have Chrome 11, apparently. Okay, so let's click it and find out. Well, it looks like it to me, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. See how quick that was? That was really nice and quick one. Right? But you can see how much you're using your RAM so much now. So, you know, this is not for a basic low end machine. This would be like a mediocre. Say a five, six year old machine. It'll run super bleeding fast, super duper, and you can have all the features that you want on it. So, yeah. That's alright. We'll get rid of that. You've got XChat as standard. Okay. So, XChat is nice. That's a nice little addition. Please do be aware that you have to set up your own username, etc. And you've got edit here as well, which is Genie. So you want to edit some stuff, you use the old Genie. If you don't like it, use something else, okay? There is no menu down here as such. There's my hard drive. I've installed it to the hard drive, so that's a full install. Down here, we have our date and time. It's Saturday, it's Saturday, it's Saturday. There's my network up and running, no big problem. And then you can see a little hard drive I've set apart for it is 4 gig, and my firewall's turned on, and this is my little flashy thing that should do my CPU core temperatures, but it, it's not actually working since I've installed it. It was all on the, on the uh, live CD. Not now. But hey, what do I know? No, I don't know nothing, do I? Let's go through some of the other stuff. Now, as there's no menu down here, you right click the desktop, and there you get stuff. So you get the terminal. And we get quick system. So we've got the pup control panel. Uh, you, you have actually, if you've done puppy before, you know what it looks like. But I'm going to open it for you anyway. Well, I'll open it up and we'll have a look. And there you go. You can change every little thing about your puppy system. Okay. Now, puppy will work on any system you can put it on, really. If you've got a really old machine, you're going to have to use Weary, of course. And it does work super duper, super fast. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying. We'll come out of that because you've seen me do it before. Right, quick system, we've got the puppy package manager. We get quick pet as well, so we'll go to, back to quick pet. This is version quick pet 4.5, so it's all been upgraded and updated. I've also done my drivers here as well. The one I needed here was x Five for my Radeon card on this particular machine. You can get SFSs here, so if you go down, I'll scroll down for you. You can run VirtualBox here, you can run Wine here, you can run anything you bloody want, really. So, if you want to run it as a full system, it can be done, okay? You just, you know, if that's what you want to do, you do it. If you don't like it, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you do. Go to applications now. So, we've got a desktop, all the usual. I think it's different there, is there really? It's all the usual. You can change anything you want to, basically. If you want to change something, you can change it. Alright, if you're a newbie, or I won't say that, it's quite offensive sometimes to some people. If you're new to Linux, or Puppy, or any distro, they call you a newbie. Right. 
don't take it uh, to heart. You know, it's just some people are just set in their ways. Right? But if you're new to Linux, just get on, learn a bit. People will answer your questions if you really want to. Okay, that's the rest in that, in that desktop there. In system, we have system status. You can do your CPU frequency scaling, as you should do. Cups for your printer. Conky's there, because that's Conky over on the right hand side there. Hardware info, you know, you've seen it before if you've seen Puppy. You can see your boot manager, your floppy format discard. And why, why would I have a floppy? Mm, I've got, actually, saying that, I have got a couple in some older machines. Not that I have got any disks around anymore. G parted for doing your partitions, grub bootloader to configure grub bootloader and stuff like that. All the usual that comes in pup. In setup, we get setup puppy, check dependencies, personalize puppy package manager, quick pet, FSF, let's try that again, SFS loader on the fly. That works sometimes for me, not always. I'm not trying it in Rex though. <laughs> But you can set up your sound, your, boot, your DVD and CD, your printer again, your mouse keyboard, universal installers for installing it to a hard drive, uh, an old zip drive even, a USB, SD card, whatever you want to do. But if you've got a nice new machine, you want to remaster your own one, you can do this. Just use it as a live CD, build your own, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Under utilities, we've got the general stuff, N no big deal there, it's all there. You know, it's all usual puppy stuff, really. No big deal. Graphics, no gimpy. But then again, it is a smaller, you know, ISO, so I'm not too worried about that. Documents, is every word, of course. Nice. That's what it says on the tin, as I always say. Business, G numeric is your baby here. Personal, B crypt as well. So it's got all the features for all the latest puppies. So it is 525, by the way. Network, the usual stuff there. Internet, and as you can see, Google Chrome is their baby here, as I showed you a bit earlier. And he's got um, version 11 here. And apparently it can run a spot, but you'll have to go to his site or go to the puppy forums and you'll find out a bit more. But yeah, it can run a spot. Basically, run a spot means it's not running as root. It's running as a, a sort of user. Okay? There's a big argument going about it at the moment. So, go and check it out and check it out. Yeah, check, 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 check it out. Multimedia, uh, media tools, also mix that. It's basics here, really, really, really basics. You know, no converters and stuff like that here, or no uh, pup streaming or nothing like that. But you can burn your DVDs and blue oh, and the Blu-rays here as well. P burn does, yeah, it does Blu-ray. It does Blu-ray. Oh yeah. And for fun, <laughs> yeah, this is quite funny actually. Some of these are really like text-based games. Shall I open one and let you know? Like a New Hope. I'm just going to open it just, just for a laugh. Okay, it's just a total game that's in like text. I've never seen this before. Some of you may get back to me and go, "Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that." Or it's still running, or they're doing it. And basically, it just runs in like a text. Basically, here we go. Look, we're going now. A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Star Wars in eights. Was eight? There's all eights. And it goes for this new hope thing. At the end of it, you actually play a game. But, you know, it's fun, well, it was fun to look at it, but I haven't got that far yet. Because I wanted to show it to you lot. Just in case you wanted to have a bit of a try of Rex. A little bit of this arch bang stuff and it's crunch bang stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's enough of that. Should we get rid of that? Yes, we'll get rid of that. Bye. See you later. So, anyway. <laughs> That's so funny. Get your shutdown options, reboot, power off, restart, hex, locks, and your knock your screen, which I haven't done yet. I'll do it another time. And you can change all your open box settings. Remember, this runs on open box, as does Archbang and Crunchbang. Now, if you like them two distros, remember, they're quite a bit larger than this. This one's about 158 megabytes in download. Still really small, so if you've got a restricted download, no big deal, you can still run it. And you can do your flash stuff. It does everything you want it to do. What more can I say? It's nice. Yeah, I like it. Sneaky Linux app. Puppy rules, man. Sneaky puppy rules. Oh, yeah, baby. Puppy rules. I'm gone. Bye, bye.